So the big question we always hear from teachers once they create and establish their first Google Classroom is, now what? What do I use this for? How do I use this with students? What are we supposed to do in here? The first thing you'll notice in Google Classroom is that there are no assignments for you to uh, pass out to students. There are no pre-made videos. There are no pre-made lessons or anything like that. That's not the purpose of Google Classroom. Google Classroom exists primarily as a space where teachers can pass out materials to students digitally and can collect things from students digitally. So what might you pass out in here? Lots of different things. It can be anything that you've created with Google Docs or slides or sheets that you've attached to assignment. It could be a PDF file that you have saved in your Google Drive. It could be a uh, Microsoft Word or PowerPoint or Excel file that you have saved on your computer that you wanna upload and attach. It could be a link out to a website or to a video that you find or out to an activity with one of your uh, publisher's suite of materials. So if your publisher has an online textbook and you want to get your students to that online textbook page, you can put a link out to that textbook page in here. But the big idea with Google Classroom is that it doesn't do anything by itself. It is just a platform for you to put uh, learning activities and assignments for students and then a place where they can turn those into you as well. So we're gonna go over a couple of those basics right now, and I wanna kind of show you uh, the lay of the land in Google Classroom, and then also give you some ideas about things that you can do in here. When you get into Google Classroom for the first time, you'll notice that you are in this tab called Stream. Stream is kind of like a scrolling Facebook or Twitter feed. It shows everything in chronological order that happens in your classroom. So if you post a new announcement, it'll go to the top of the stream. If you post a new assignment, it'll go to the top of the stream. If you post a new link to a quiz or an online assessment, it'll go to the top of the stream. This is also where students will be able to see what work is upcoming and what due dates are on the horizon. The next tab you'll notice is the classwork tab, and this is where you as a teacher are going to go to create assignments for students. So if you want to post something new for them, let's say it's a PDF that you want them to read through, or let's say it's just text-based instructions, grab your textbook and read this page to this page. You will do all of that over here on the classwork page by going to the create button. In some of our other videos, we'll walk you through what each one of these buttons do, so feel free to take a look at those after you've watched this video. The next tab for you is the People tab, and inside the People tab, you will notice who the teachers are in this class, and you can add new ones if you want, and you'll also see a list of all of the students in the class. We have videos that will walk you through how to automatically sync your uh, Aries Gradebook student roster with Google Classroom, so check that out if you don't have students in, uh, imported yet. We also have a video that will show you how to manually add students, both by this um, clicking the, the button and adding them in by typing in their username, and also by passing out a class code to your students, which can be emailed um, or posted to your students in any way that you can get it to them. The last tab that I wanna point out to you is this grades tab up here at the top. And this is where as students start to turn in assignments, as they mark that they finished that essay and you go through and you grade the essay, or you go through and you grade um, whether or not they've completed the, um, the, the response questions or something like that, you'll be able to add grades over here. So we'll talk about that in future videos, but we wanted you to understand those four tabs and that when you get into classroom, everything is about you taking some piece of learning activity or material from somewhere else and incorporating it into Google Classroom. Maybe it's a writing prompt that you put together in Google Docs and you attach it in here. Maybe it's a PDF of a worksheet that you upload here and then you ask students to complete that um, and to type in their answers on their own Google Doc and attach that afterwards. Again, you can find details about these in future videos. Um, we wanted to show you basically what it is you're going to do with Google Classroom and how you will learn Google Classroom. Um, the last thing that I want to mention is in Google Classroom, in the upper right-hand corner, you will notice a little settings gear. If you tap that settings gear, this is where you can reset things like class description and section and room, but it also gives you a place to go down here and take a look at some of the general and some of the, the grading settings as well. So this would definitely be worth a uh, look if you are new to Google Classroom.